Hello guys, welcome to my channel Easy Fluent French where you'll see a lot of sentences that are used by French people in their everyday lives. All right, let's begin today's lesson. Tu viens avec moi. Tu viens. You're coming avec with moi me. You're coming with me. But in this case, you can see that it's a question and you can understand it from the intonation like when you ask Tu viens avec moi? Are you coming with me? And if you want to make it a proper question, then you just have to add est-ce que before tu. So it is est-ce que tu viens avec moi? And if you say je viens avec toi, it is I'm coming with you. Je viens avec toi. Okay. Viens jouer avec nous. Viens jouer. Come play. Avec nous, with us. Come play with us. As we saw in the first lesson, when two verbs are together, only the first one is conjugated. The second one is left in its infinitive form. But for example, when someone calls you and that person is waiting for you, when you say, I'm coming, you don't say, je viens. Here you have to say, j'arrive. I'm coming. The verb arriver has other meanings we will see in another lesson. On va partir sans lui. The verb partir means to go or to leave. On va partir sans lui. Here it means to leave. On va partir. We're gonna leave sans lui without him. We're gonna leave without him. And for her, you say sans elle. Sans elle, without her. And for them, there are two words in French. E for male and L for female. Sans eux, without them, for guys. Sans elle, without them, for girls. Je veux pas partir les mains vides. Je veux pas, I don't want to, partir, leave. Les mains vides, it basically means, you know, the, the empty hands, but here it means empty-handed. I don't want to leave empty-handed. Basically, you say this uh, when you are at a place where you have free stuff, and you don't want to leave without taking these free stuff. Here, there is a ne that, we, that I didn't put because in spoken French, we don't pronounce it. Basically, it should be, je ne veux pas. I don't want to. But in spoken French, we say, je veux pas. Il est parti sans même dire au revoir. Il est parti, he left, sans même dire. Without even saying au revoir, bye. Il est parti sans même dire au revoir. He left without even saying bye. Uh, the verb partir here, you can see in the past, it's always conjugated with verb être. Il est parti. We don't say, il a parti. In the past, it is always with être. Il est parti. Je m'en vais. Or, je me casse. Both these sentences mean, I am leaving. Here, you can see that I didn't use the verb partir. Because if you say, je pars, it means, I am going. And here, I want to say, I am leaving. And for that, in French, we say, je m'en vais. Or, je me casse. Here, there is an apostrophe because it is basically me en. But uh, when two vowels are together, the first one is replaced with an apostrophe. So it is je m'en vais. On se casse. On se casse. Let's leave. Il est parti manger. Partir here means to go. Il est parti. He went. Manger. To eat. Il est parti manger. He went to eat. Again, like we saw here, only the first verb is conjugated, not the second one. So you can use any verb after il est parti to say, you know, he went to do this or he went to do that. So for example, if you say il est parti faire les courses, he went to grocery shopping. And if you want to say he went shopping, it is il est parti Faire du shopping. 
Il est parti quand? When did he leave? So in spoken French, the word when we put it at the last. Il est parti quand? When did he leave? And the proper question is, quand est-ce qu'il est parti? Quand comes in the beginning, uh, like in English, and we add est-ce que as we add for any question. And il est parti. He left. Oh, when did he leave? But we don't often use this form. We always use this form. Il est parti quand? J'ai rien mangé. J'ai rien mangé. It means I ate nothing or I didn't eat anything. Rien means nothing or in this case anything and it is not at the end like in English. It comes before the verb. J'ai rien mangé, I didn't eat anything. J'ai faim. I'm hungry. You can also say j'ai la dalle to mean the same thing. I'm hungry or I'm starving. J'ai bien mangé. J'ai bien mangé. I had a good meal. So when you liked the food and you ate a lot of it, you can say j'ai bien mangé. J'ai plus faim. The literal meaning is I'm not hungry anymore. Basically is je n'ai plus faim. But in, we don't pronounce it in spoken French. So you say, j'ai plus faim, I'm not hungry anymore, or I'm full. And we will see in another lesson how to use the word anymore in French. Like, I don't want to play anymore, or I can't do it anymore. Here, the S in the word plus, we don't pronounce the S, we say plus. Because it means anymore here. J'ai trop mangé. I ate too much. Trop means beaucoup, a lot, but you can't use the word beaucoup here. When you eat a lot, you just say j'ai trop mangé. I ate too much. Je peux plus manger. I can't eat anymore. So anymore is put before the verb. I can't eat anymore. Je peux plus manger. J'ai pas assez mangé. I didn't eat enough. Again, enough is before the verb. J'ai pas assez mangé. I didn't eat enough. Assez means enough. Tu dois manger plus. Tu dois, you have to, manger plus. Eat plus more. You have to eat more. Here we do pronounce the S, unlike here or here, because here it means any more and here it means more. We will see it in a more advanced lesson when to pronounce this S and when to not pronounce it. Tu dois bien manger. Tu dois, you have to, bien manger, eat well. You have to eat well. Basically, tu dois bien manger can mean two things, whether you have to eat a balanced meal or you have to eat more because you don't eat enough. Il arrête pas de manger. Il arrête pas, he doesn't stop. De manger, eating. Basically, in English, it means he never stops eating. So, for example, this is said to someone who eats a lot. So, for someone who talks a lot, you can say, il arrête pas de parler. It means he talks a lot. J'ai perdu mon portefeuille. J'ai perdu, I lost, mon portefeuille, my wallet. I lost my wallet. If it's your cell phone, you say portable. J'ai perdu mon portable. I lost my phone. Quelqu'un a perdu sa montre. Quelqu'un, somebody, a perdu, lost, sa montre, his or her watch. And it's a question here. So it becomes, did somebody lose his or her watch? His or her, in French, it is 
the same sum so if it is his watch it is sa montre if it is her watch it is still sa montre in french whether the person is uh, male or female it doesn't change in this case it is the same sa montre his watch or her watch here it is sa s a because the word is feminine une montre that's why we say sa montre if it is a masculine word like for example uh, portable you say son portable mon portable my phone his phone or her phone it is s o n son portable and speaking of a plural thing you say c and in this case whether the word is masculine or feminine it doesn't change anything it is always c so for example c chaussette his socks or her socks tu l'as perdu tu as perdu you lost and l is for the pronoun it so and in this case it's a question so it is did you lose it tu les as perdu did you lose them so les is for them and here you can see that we added an s to the word perdu that's because the object we are talking about is placed before the verb and when the object comes before the verb if the object is plural the verb should be plural as well if if the object is feminine then you have to add e to the verb so it becomes perdu with an e okay here you don't pronounce it like le and a you don't say le a you have to say les a this is because there's a vowel after s and so you have to make this connection les a this is called la liaison en français in french on s'est perdu dans la forêt on s'est perdu here you can see that the verb is conjugated with verb être not like here here it is with avoir so in this case you know that it is coming from the verb prominent se perdre the subject is talking about himself so it means we got lost on s'est perdu dans la forêt we got lost in the forest so this is the verb prominent when you add se to the verb and you talk about yourself without se like this you talk about something like you lost something here so when you say j'ai perdu ma clé i lost my key but when you say je me suis perdu i got lost ne le perd pas this is the tense we call imperatif ne le perd pas it it's used to give orders ne le perd pas don't lose it and it is before the verb it's placed before the verb in french elle est ou la poubelle or où est la poubelle or où est-ce qu'elle est la poubelle all these three sentences mean the same thing where is the bin I'm giving you the three sentences just to let you know that the second and the third one we don't really use them in spoken French. We always say elle est où la poubelle. The second and the third one you will find it on paper. We don't really say them when we speak. Elle est ouverte la pharmacie or est-ce qu'elle est ouverte la pharmacie? Means is the pharmacy open? Elle est ouverte la pharmacie simply means the pharmacy is open it's not a question but here when you say like elle est ouverte la pharmacie it becomes a question is the pharmacy open so both of them are used in the spoken french in the written french it would be est-elle ouverte la pharmacie and that's a little complicated we never use it in spoken french le magasin était fermé or il était fermé le magasin le magasin the shop 
or the store était was fermé closed the shop was closed both the sentences mean the same thing but this form is used more often when speaking and if you want to say the shop was open the word for open is ouvert so you say le magasin était ouvert okay before finishing today's lesson i want to see if you were paying full attention so here is a sentence and i want you to say it in french tell me in the comment box how you would say it in french she went grocery shopping and she lost her wallet all right that's enough for today i hope you liked my lesson and you learned something please like and share my lessons and subscribe to my channel for more videos if there is anything you didn't understand or you have any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll answer as soon as possible. Thank you so much for learning French with me and I'll see you in the next lesson. On se retrouve dans une prochaine leçon. Au revoir.